Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. As we continue working on Blueprint Unlocks, who's next? Graveyard. Yo, I know who this is. This is the enemy that summons the the birds at you. And in, I don't know when they changed it, but um, it's electrified birds. I don't remember him having electrified birds, but he's got electrified birds. Um. I do like this with the broadsword. I was actually thinking about this the other day. What if you roll double heavy weapons? Not not scythes, scythe claws, but if you run two double heavy weapons and then you just alternate X, Y with kill rhythm, would it even work? I don't know, but... At least for now, maybe we'll try a bit of a broadsword. We have Cocoon, we have a powerful grenade, and we have a survival build built in to this run. Good work, good work. One big problem here being the, the freaking rats. You gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta be very uh, <laughs> unique with your dodge rolls when you're dealing with rats, but really I should just use cocoon slash grenade a little bit more. But I love survival runs. Are you gonna kill the giant? I don't know, we've, we've, I've done it before, Shredder status. I have unlocked the fifth boss cell. Um, and I think I actually did it flawlessly, too, if I remember correctly. I, I don't quite remember correctly, but I think I did flawless the uh, fifth cell on that guy, which is stupid, but. Come here. Oh, wait a minute! I'm just realizing something. Cocoon actually allows you to deflect undeflectable projectiles like those ones. Well, I missed my cocoon on that on that shot. Because normally those explosive crossbows, uh, they can be blocked with a shield, but they can't really be deflected. But apparently now they can. If you are using cocoon anyways. Cocoon! It's an interesting item because it does allow you to have different um, styles of deflection. Like, they, they, it seems to deflect... Uh, hey, thank you for the watermelon. It seems to deflect shockwaves and undeflectable projectiles, which is kind of unusual. Okay, I mean, I can, I can sit here for a bit. These freaking rats, they love just getting just out of range of your heavy weapons, makes it impossible to hit them. By the way, what kind of a run are we doing today? Where are we going on this run? Well, if we need to go and defeat... Ah! Get out of there. If we need to go and defeat... Um, the graveyard. We can we can technically get there from anywhere, I think. But canonically, I think you'd want to go down and, and fight the Watcher. And last time we went and fought the uh, concierge, maybe we could go fight the Watcher this time. Or maybe we could go to the, the uh, DLC locales and... Maybe we could just go and fight, like, the first DLC boss, Mama Tick, and then after that, we can pick a, a different direction to go in. That was a little lucky. Yoink! It's a big ol' radish? There's 100% health on this floor? Wow. You don't see that that often. Um, I think it could be fun to go and do the DLC zone. I think it's gonna be a little awkward running survival with a, a slow sword, but I think we'll still be okay. Force shield. I kind of like the knockback shield. It does more damage if an enemy impacts a wall, but it's still okay. Right, so this should be, yeah, this should be the exit that we want. Boing, boing, boing. Instinct. 
as uh, an oil grenade, a crush trap. I do like the idea of a crush trap because it slows down enemies. It does not slow down Hand of the King. It'll slow down other enemies though. Oh, I got a sneeze. Excuse me, princess. Oh, wow. <coughs> I also like a uh, wolf trap that creates a toxic cloud that's like beautiful. Do Scarecrow? Well, we actually could do the Scarecrow now that I think about it. We just have to make sure that we go graveyard into Scarecrow, which I think you can do. Um, but, you know, if we have a target on this run, we have some, where's the exit I wanted? All right, DLC. If we have a target on this run, if we have an exit that we need to get to, uh, the graveyard, we just gotta make sure to hit that point. And I don't know how to get there. Graveyard. Can we, wait, can we get there from Mama Tick? Go Slumbering Sanctuary, Stilt Village, Graveyard, DLC. Now that I think about it, I don't know if we can get to the graveyard from Mama Tick. Hold on. Biomes, Dead Cells. Taking a long time to load, hello. Uh, in order to get to the graveyard, you can get there from, you can get there from the nest. No, you get there, what? You get there by sacrificing the mushroom boy? What? I think you can get there. I know you can skip Mama Tick, but do you have to skip Mama Tick in order to get to the graveyard? Hold on, graveyard, dead cells. Previous biomes, Insuffer insufferable crypt, nest. Okay, so we can, we, can, we can just get there, okay. No special necessitation required. I, I was looking at the biome map and the biome map on the wiki has it seems to indicate that you have to do it in a particular fashion. Like it seems to indicate you have to go in a particular direction and get it specifically skipping the Mama Tick fight, but no, you don't have to skip Mama Tick. Okay. Rawr. I will not upgrade the sword. We're probably gonna get a new sword. You don't have to skip, that's just the pick being confusing. That's kind of what I expected once I looked it up. Wait, so you can get to the graveyard from the crypt or the... We got the hat again. From the crypt or the... The nest. I guess you can't get to the graveyard from... Um, from the Black Bridge, which I didn't think about. Hey. I love the traps that create uh, poison around him. They're just so good. Hello. No run! Oh, good lord. No, get out of here. Get out of here! Oh, my lord. Come here. Actually, use the shield once or twice. Like, that'll help. <laughs> I've got the shield, haven't been using it, and I've been running around like a coward the entire time so far. There goes my uh, my perfect. I didn't think he could hit me through the trap, but I guess it makes total sense. It's not like he stops attacking when he's in the frickin' bear trap. Oh, I don't want to do prison depths. I've been doing so many prison depths runs. It's always such a panic. 
trying to get through it and live. Shredder status says, remember in past when rep weapons had scrolls attached to them? Yeah, you used to be able to get, um, well, all weapons and skills, um, when they hit plus plus and S, they had like plus tactics, plus brutality, plus survival. It's nice that they kind of simplified the entire thing. They've done a good job of updating and balancing this game over time. It's kind of strange like that, because this is a game that's had a, a surprising amount of, like, updates and balancing and stuff like that. Do 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 get survival. Man, the flint so you know, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Alright. Give me the flint. Sell that for one dollar. Oh, what the heck? I was facing the wrong way. Such a good weapon. It's a little slow at killing these guys, but um, you know that's just that's just where we are in the run right now. Oops. This has been a big early level area. I'm beginning now to like as the more I play this, the more I understand how these levels are are generated. If you look at the map, it. it this is like a three by three area with with rooms kind of built into it. And um, oftentimes you'll see these rooms as like two by twos. So there will be a, a door to the right that leads you to another two by two area. Because you know, the levels are proce procedurally generated, but the individual rooms that make up the level are not. Sylvita says they released a new patch today, Alpha Branch. Of, uh, Dead Cells? I should read the patch notes to see if it's any good. Like, if it, um, does anything that I'm interested in. Please. Thank you. Now, if only we could get the next, uh, Isaac update. <laughs> hmm. Keep going. Let's see if we can get to 60. It's, it's gonna be tough, but it's not impossible. There's just food up there. I wonder if that food means that there's less food in the level, or if there's still the same amount of level food. I'm surprised that bear trap is still there. Oh, you're dead. Dumb. You freaking jerks. You still get po- you don't still get- you do still get poisoned. I like that the, um, really the block didn't work. I like that the, um, flint can get around those, uh, jerk shrooms is what they're called, I think. Ah, I hit your shield. I forgot. For one brief moment, I forgot all about your darn shield. Quirk says, if we're asking for things that aren't out yet, how about Silk Song? Uh, one day, we'll, we'll be dead when it comes out, but one day. You'll be dead! You... Ah, jerk. I thought you were dead. 
I'm actually like taking more damage since I swapped out to the flint, but <laughs> I still think it's better in the long run. Although, I, I think I just need to be using my uh, skills and abilities more. Because I have not been. You went out of one bear trap and into another bear trap. Are you okay? Oh my god. Just... Could you, like, not do that? Thank you. Can't wait for my grandchildren's children to enjoy Silk Song, says Verdacula. Oh, quit your lying. You're not gonna have any kids. <laughs> Got him! I will take brutality. I will take survival. Enemies teleporting like that is like getting stuck walking past someone on a sidewalk. <laughs> and you both try to get out of each other's way. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Enemies in this game are so inconsiderate. weird. The uh, flint is kind of like having a ranged weapon, isn't it? I'm not going to get rid of these bear traps. These bear traps are amazing. I might get rid of the grenade, though, for a whistle. Do other people do the same thing I do, which is like you have preference for items and that's what you want to go for? Because the whistle is just so good. <laughs> like... When it one-shots, like, elite enemies, that's when you know that you made the right decision for taking it. At least that's how it works with me. God dang, little... Crystal piece of garbage, get out of here. What do we got? Marksman's bow. Garbage. Garbage for us, anyways. <laughs> so we can go to the ramparts. Um, we need to go get this last remaining scroll, though. And there's health. I definitely ignore most items, says Gladir, because. I find them hard to use. That's true for a lot of items, but some items it's just like, why take this when I could take this other item that's better? You know, there's like, not a lot of reason to take specific items sometimes in this game, when there are better alternatives anyways. Like, there's some reasons to take one versus another item. Like, the infantry grenade and the powerful, powerful grenade have a reason to go for one or the other. The powerful grenade is more likely to one-shot something, but the infantry grenade can be used more frequently for, like, uh, crowd control, weak enemies. But in some situations, it's just like... Why would I take this item that I don't think is very good when I could take this item that's very good? Okay. You jerk! What hit me? Oh, you're alive. What? Yeah, my God. You know what? Stay there. Don't teleport out of my damn trap. He hit me? Oh my god. You are an annoying piece of garbage. Gotta freaking heal up after all that nonsense. Give me the extra jump in midair. What happened? There were just like a bunch of, um... 
It's like a bunch of uh, arrows just came out of me or something. It's weird. All right, let's get the heck out of here. This is not, wait, th yeah, th no. This is not the sh the floor that has food. That's the next floor. Yeah. Oh, next floor sucks. <laughs> I remember where it is. I remember what it is now. That's fine. We'll still go for it. Get this mouse pointer off of the screen. Yoink. Go to the morass. I am... I didn't take the hunter's grenade. <laughs> I didn't take the hunter's grenade. Where is it? Oh, my lord. Well, I guess we'll just um, focus on... I guess we'll just focus on, you know, collecting cells for the forge. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, quick bow is a good example. Like, the quick bow is, is a uh, pretty garbage quality bow. I'd almost rather have any other bow. Because it just doesn't do very good sustain damage. I guess it is good for, you know, taking out extremely weak enemies. But... What the heck? You jumped over the trap? Freaking piece of garbage. What the heck is going on? Do you see this nonsense? I gotta heal up. That's okay, we can buy health on this. No, we can't buy health on the floor. Like, he he was doing his kick attack and he jumped at the same time. Pretty sure that's not how that's supposed to go, game. That's one for the for the old for ye old bug reports. Now oh, heal up. Okay. Slow down. Ice him. Hit him with the bear traps. Hit him with the bear. Hit him with the bear traps. Don't blow your nonsense at me. If you die, at least you get the hunter's grenade faster. I don't want to die. Oh, you. He does so much damage. We don't even don't even have disengagement. Oh my god, it's a freaking rune. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use another healing flask. That's how messed up this is right now. Might as well use another healing flask, go through the door. Oh my lord. I'll take it. Because it is better than what we had. Okay, stop taking so much damage. Find your way to the, sh to the food shop and get some freaking food in a minute. We're not gonna die, I don't think. But this is not a very good performance on this floor. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. We're alive still, kind of. Give me the curse, yeah, I was just gonna say, give me the curse chest. Hey, you heal, huh? I hate to say it, but... Yeah, we take more damage, but we also heal. Not on the door, though. So let's go kill ten enemies. <laughs> and then heal up. That's not the enemy I would have done, but I'll accept it. That would have been a horrible way to die. In theory... We can just trap certain enemies. Do I have a shield? I do. And then just wail on them from behind, in theory.
Yo, get out of here. No, you can't be up here. Curse lifted. That was quick. <laughs> I feel like we should have still been going on here a little bit, but I'll, I'll take it. Get stuck in my bear trap, you dongle. Okay, keep healing, keep healing. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. Send this over here. It's the food shop anyways. That was surprising. Okay, if we don't need the food, we'll leave the food because we have this stupid healing sword that it's actually kind of awful. It's gonna get me freaking killed. Oh my god. There it goes. Yeah, we should probably not have this, but <laughs> it's okay. Actually, what I should do is probably block more shots to get the shield. Then we'll be okay. No, I should probably just get rid of the sword, honestly. Um, yeah, get out of here, oiled sword. Let me let me just go back here and heal up from the shop. We don't have recovery yet, so it is kind of hard for us to heal. We should have probably taken recovery before... No mercy, actually. Like, to have to fight a little bit harder to kill enemies is not that bad, but... To be able to to get so much health back just by um, attacking enemies after they hit you is, is probably a lot better. Nope. 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 No. I'm not gonna let you guys jump on top of me. I'm on top. Thank you very much. It's an elite. I did not see him. He is an elite. He's gonna murder me. Get out of here with your damn nonsense. It's a times two times two lantern. No. I'm gonna do this for the HP. Get out of here. Times two damage taken, times two damage dealt. It's pretty good. Except it's not really that good. The um, Flint does more DPS on a crit. Yeah, I don't think I want the lantern here. Also, uh, th here's an important question. If we take this, would we actually have three times damage taken? Because both of the, um, both of the the sides of the lantern have that two times two times applied to them. So I, I think that's not a very good weapon for us. I think that's a bit of a trap. Dun 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 dun. Brutality. It's a brutality. I see you. No, you freaking jerks! I think part of the reason why I like having the flint is that it's just satisfying to like crush on their faces when they hit you with those freaking blowguns. <laughs> oh man. It's like they get one shot on you because they're above you and then it's just like, no, bam, bam. Do not want a mushroom boy. Could have taken it to test before selling. No! Because in order to test it, I have to get hit for possibly three times damage. That doesn't sound like a good deal for me. No, 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 no. Sounds like a horrible deal. 
executed. Well, let's go here and fight the uh, the other little worm. And by worm, I mean tick. Probably not even the right family, but oh well. No. Just you get the scroll so this guy doesn't jump and then you can ice him. It's cheese. Thank you. 100% health. Let's see how long that'll last. Nope. On the bright side, if you're in their face, for some reason they can't hit you. Well, there's not 30 enemies remaining, I don't think, so... Let's not worry about it. Okay. So, wait! Wow, why did I do that? What the heck? When they get caught in the bear trap, their animation, like, glitches out, it seems. It's a little scary. <laughs> it says above your head, your head how much extra damage you take. Um, so yes and no, because it says times two or times four depending on whether or not your weapon has a times two or times from a, a factor on it. But I don't think it'll say times three. I think it'll just say times two if you have at least one weapon with a times two multiplier on it. I could be wrong about that because I tend not to take the those heavy multiplier uh, weapons. So that could have been an interesting thing to, t to test, but um, in order to test it, I need to get two weapons that have times two multipliers on them. Well, you're here now. Oh. Uh, damage from projectiles reduced 75%. That's still pretty good. What happened to his, um, scythe? Did I, like, absorb it into my body? I think I may have absorbed it into my body! Dun, 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 dun. Hey, it's a curse chest! <laughs> it's another curse chest, huh? No! Let's not take that, because if we take it, we'll die. Well, no, we'll just have to flawless Mama Tick, which is a little tough. All right, let's go to the nest. Hey, you know what? If we get lucky, because I adjust my microphone slightly, if we get lucky, we could make it to the graveyard and get the blueprint that we're searching for anyways. If we get lucky. Okay, grab recovery. Go fight this Mama Tick. I've not fought Mama Tick in a while, but I feel confident fighting this boss. I do not think that this is a tough boss. The only thing that's annoying about it is when the tentacles come up out of the ground. And when they get stunned or frozen, I always think that there's not going to be another one, but there always is. There's always more tentacles. Surprised it didn't give me a shield. Because it should have. Just keep chopping. Keep chopping. Next phase. Again, surprised that there's no shield. Yeah, you never know. Maybe. I almost screwed up the timing on that one, but I didn't.
Good. There we go. Easy as pie. Just stay up in front of him and just parry with a shield. It's another times two multiplier. Why is the game loving giving me those times twos today? It's like, stop it. Okay. Melee attacks inflict more damage. I like the fact that we get a shield though. Times two, times two, no. Okay. So if we go to the graveyard, we could go for uh, Forgotten Sepulchre afterwards because there is still some stuff there that we need to do. I think. We get a legendary serenade. It poisons the enemy. I think we'll take it instead of the wolf trap. Because now I can just use Serenade as a fast sword weapon. We have almost 500 cells to dump into this, which is enough for one level. Good lord. Good god. Plus damage on a poison? 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 All right. Probably shouldn't have even spent that much money, though, because um, now we can't buy a healing flask in the next zone. Oh, but we're going to the graveyard anyways. Oh, but you can buy a healing class at the graveyard, can't you? This is not where we're going. This is not where we're going. There's the graveyard. So you cannot get to Slumbering Sanctuary from this location. Fair enough. Oh. Freaking allergies today, my god. <clears throat> right, I forgot that these guys were gonna be here. Wait, is this bleeding? Hold on. How did he bleed? Maybe he wasn't bleeding? I was pretty sure that he was actually bleeding. Oh no, that's the icon for the sword. Fair enough. I need to come to the graveyard more often. Yet another one of those biomes that um, oftentimes just passes me by. What? I didn't, I don't have my sword? All right. I was really hoping to have my uh, sword, but I guess not. Welcome back. Welcome back to the land of the living, you son of a gun. This would have been a fantastic time to have a curse. We are just icing everything. No! He didn't get me. I got him, though. We're gonna get the key? No, a chest. Man, that would suck. If you come all the way down here and you don't have the uh, ground pound rune and there's no way to get through that, you just, you fight all the enemies. What the heck? Oh, you know what? What is happening? Why does my shield have zero charges? <laughs> I, I get it now. Sometimes the sword is coming back to the wrong item slot, and now my shield has zero charges on it for some reason. That's weird. Hold on. Why does my shield have zero charges? I don't know. It's working now. But for some reason, <laughs> I didn't have access to my shield. It was supposed to burn, but a few things seem to have survived. Interesting. A crappy grenade, a fantastic. Okay, you got Serenade active. 5,000, 6,000 damage on a crit. All right.
Got to remember, we need the, the critical hit because that's what gives you... Oh, that's like half the damage of the flint. Uh, the critical hits is what gives you your um, charges back on Serenade. Uh, hello, Mr. Big Boy. Um, what are you doing today? Have one of those. Hello. Hello. <sighs> it's pretty good. But I like the projectile damage reduction. What? 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 This did not go the way I had planned. What? <laughs> The first enemy that hit me, he uh, didn't turn around when I expected him to turn around, so it uh, led to some problems. Yeah, hey, was there anything else down here? No. Where's my sword? I, I'm not enjoying. I'm not enjoying the fact that whenever I seem to go through a door, my sword goes on cooldown. I was pretty sure that when that happened, you would um, still get the benefit of using your sword when you go through a door, but I guess I was wrong about that. Potentially? I don't know. Maybe? Get out of here! How am I supposed to get out of your, your shield of, of jerks? Also, my sword is now on, on Y again. I don't know what's going on. This does not seem to be working properly. Oh, now it's on X. <laughs> what the hell, game? Be consistent. Oh, man. The, the thing that gets me is um, inconsistencies like this. It's the, the biggest thing that gets me in any video game is when something just behaves inconsistently. I know it's a bug. Something that's made my shield have zero charges, something that's made my, um, my serenade sometimes, uh, get onto the wrong slot, sometimes when, you know, XYZ happens. It's just a bug. But those inconsistencies, they bug me. <laughs> they bug- oh, I hiccup. <laughs> what? There's just a big room up here? Hello? Can I can I get up there? I'd like to get up there. That seems kind of cool. Just a, a big hallway with nothing in it. Weird. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. Oh, that's the other thing. Is that I know in the past I've been able to use Serenade when I walk through the door, so I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's probably something related to the shield. Let me actually just drop and pick it back up, see what happens. Maybe because Serenade is legendary that's causing a problem? I don't know, I'm just spitballing ideas here, pretty much, because I'm clueless. Oh well. Yeah, it's the first time I use Serenade and put it into my hand, I put it into my hand in the wrong item slot. Well, it, it, it goes into the Y slot instead of the X slot. Weird. Oh, weird. How strange. Thank you. I need to figure out exactly how that crit is working, because it hits freaking hard. Thank you, Serenade, for dealing with that guy. Man, Serenade is just crushing it. Excuse me. 
guts. Ooh, guts and some fruit. I'll take it. My God, the damage is just so good. Executed. We also got more guts. So many guts. You okay with this serenade? Is the shield unusable now? Oh no, the shield is, is um, there's nothing wrong with it. It just has a visual bug that says it has zero charges, but it does, it does seem to be completely usable still. Wait, what happened? Oh, serenade, right, it got reset because I um, picked up a scroll. He's slow! Oh my god, I hate slow enemies. It's a it's a blueprint. Let's it's Hokuto's bow too. I know what that one is. It's a very good one. Let's freaking go, Hokuto's bow. Yo, is that a secret? Yep. Haha! -ha. We did get another blueprint. And you know what? It's not the it's not the right enemy. But at least it's something. So now here's the question, were you even going to take Hakuto's bow? I don't know. Like on this run, but um, for now let's just finish off the graveyard here. Oh, sorry, I gotta wait for my sword to come back. Um, there's going to be enough enemies. Let's do it. Ridiculous, it used to be one my favorite secondary weapon, such a good synergy proc. I actually think that Hakuto's bow could be very useful for um, for putting it in your backpack. Because won't you be able to dodge roll, fire a ranged weapon, and then also get Hakuto's bow to go out? That seems like a pretty useful little kind of combo there, honestly. Could be anyways. Alright, so Serenade. I just want to use it a few times to make sure it goes into the right item slot. Hopefully there's 10 enemies remaining. Cudgel. Stuns the enemies. I'm gonna keep the force field shield because some enemies can't be stunned, so you might as well get something that will always be of a benefit. I'd love to fight some enemies at some point. Why? I don't need you to fire at the grenade guy. Yo, there are multiple enemies underneath me and I don't know what they are. What the hell are you guys? Are those rats? No. They look like rats though. They are rats. The thing was, is I didn't think they were rats because they looked taller than they should have been. Man, you're so good. Serenade for dealing with curses. Infantry bow? Death orb. Nah. Okay, so... Serenade is in hand. And I freaking just lost it again. I have, I have done runs. I have played levels where every time I go through a door, the cooldown on uh, the serenade resets and I can still use it in my hand. Like it resets to 30 seconds and I can just immediately uh, uh, cast it or whatnot. That doesn't seem to be happening here. Okay, just give me one enemy. Yeah, I already got one of those. Thank you. Seven. It's better than the one that we got, so. You always gotta upgrade. We do have 21,000 bucks. I think there's a food shop here too. We can definitely buy another heal if we need it. I think we do. 
And that just goes out to the, uh, the cavern exit, but I don't really want to go to the cavern exit right now. I kind of want to go to the Forgotten Spulker again, because I'm I'm pretty sure there's a secret there that I have yet to, to f find. It's a randomly found secret. Really, you go for the rat first. It's a randomly found secret, but I'm sh I, I think there's a secret where you pick up the keys, the crypt keys. And so I would love to be able to find that one. But maybe we will, maybe we will go to the cavern. It's been a while. Dun, 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 dun. I can go there and die. <laughs> that was a bad roll. But in theory, we'll be able to find some food on this level, which allows us to, uh, yeah, it should, should be down here. Should allow us to get enough health that we'll be okay on the caverns if we go down there, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Serenade, I'm telling you, you gotta... Right, it went to the wrong hand. Serenade, I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta go for other enemies. Sorry, giant, I'm telling you, you gotta go for your other enemies. I'll grab that, I will um, grab the guts, just to heal a little bit. We can go to the Undying Shores to finish off the DLC path there and then possibly go and fight the Scarecrow, which is horrible and frightening. I think instead, it's either Caverns or Sepulchre. I don't really know what I want to do. They're both fun. <laughs> Excuse me. They both can be fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Figured. Give me the shield. Could you, like, actually stop this, please? Oh my god. He, he's constantly getting slowed, and I can't get the parry animation in there properly. God, I hate slowing enemies down. What is doing that? It's the Rampart Shield, and it's the Flint. We, I, I gotta, I gotta dump these items. They're actually trash. Because I, I don't look for the, like, lightning bolt above, or the exclamation mark above their head when they're about to attack. I just kind of, I know what their timing is, because I've fought these guys a hundred times. A hundred thousand times, in fact. So when they get slowed and their animation takes three times as long to finish, I just freaking get owned. Um, do we have enough money to heal in the shop? No. Oh, that's highly unfortunate. I would love to be able to, like, drop my, I don't know, flint even and just buy a 50% heal. Uh, I guess we will go to the Sepulchre. I would like to get, if, if, if it is a blueprint, I would like to get to the blueprint here. I almost didn't drop this off, that would have been stupid. Hakuto's bow. Marks an enemy, they take plus 73 DPS for 15 seconds. If the enemy dies, the mark spreads. You don't know it yet, but you're already dead. It's a very good weapon, but not really for this run, but I will still unlock it. Ammo plus three is very good. So you hit you hit an enemy with it. They get hit with a, a mark, a debuff, and they take more damage over time. It's quite nice. Let's go. We still have disengagement. We should be fine. And if we get some food here, that'll be good. We might be able to get through the floor without having to use a heal. There we go. Serenade's in the right hand. Let's 
Serenade doing one hell of a job. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Sometimes the freeze is appropriate. That's one of them. Oh my god, let's do it. Powerful Grenade 9S. <sighs> Makes the victim bleed. Arrows come back colorless. Dude, I might... Ah, the Serenade is so good for dealing with, like, rats and weak enemies and whatnot. For showing you invisible enemies. We could take this instead of the giant whistles. We could kill, like, four enemies all at once. Could be... could be nice. Serenade is, is uh, working. Just don't die. <laughs> That's all, all I'm asking for my, from myself. Just don't die. Just don't end the run here. Okay, that was probably overkill, but hey, it's only a 13 second cooldown. The heck? Oh, Serenade isn't working anymore. God dang it. It's kind of an annoying bug right now. When I'm planning on using Serenade to, uh, like, combo into killing some enemies and then it just doesn't work. And then, of course, I've also got to make sure that, um, Serenade is being used on the on the right hand slot. Bow and endless quivers. Or scarecrow sickles that are garbage. Oh. oh. I lost Serenade for another 30 seconds. Whatever, I'm not gonna wait for it. I shouldn't be waiting for it anyways, but I wanna wait for it, because it's an important part of my of my run slightly. Dumb. No, we should go kill these guys. Was there anything up there that I needed? Well, there's an elite enemy. I guess if we really wanted to kill him, we could. But we're already at 37 kills. Let's just keep going. Keep entering the door until your cooldown resets. That's... It's not even so much about that and I worry about getting hit. It's just more of a... Of a... I, I hate waiting. <laughs> like, I'd rather just, uh, you know, have the, the cooldown automatically reset and just be done with it. An, an annoying bug, for sure. That's overkill. I'm so bad at that overkill. Sorry, it was in the wrong hand. There we go. Oh, I should have... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, we didn't even lose uh, Serenade. That's a surprise. You jumped? Wow. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, there goes our Flawless. Well, no, 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 no. Don't jump at me, you piece of garbage. Okay, put it in hand. Big mummy full of helium, he just floats. He does not float, because what comes up comes down. We've seen it before. Let's see if we can get to 60. Katana and Crusher. Well, the Crusher's pretty good, but I like the grenade that we got. What boss are we gonna fight? I guess we could go fight the giant. You know, we can just come to this floor to maybe get some blueprints and then go and fight the giant. <sighs> I have a hard time seeing that crystal when it spawns in. Enemies that hit you freeze. Oh. 
I don't want it. I need to get rid of this shield too, because it freezes. Whenever I'm doing a, a block heavy run, where I want to be blocking a lot, or even when I have the ability to block, like I just want to have no freezing or slowing. Keep going survival, why not? We're probably going a little bit too heavy into survival, but... I like seeing those big numbers. It's a carry. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies down here. I worry a little bit about um, possibly losing. Well, there goes our, our flawless. I worry for a little bit about possibly losing um, a serenade when I pick up a scroll. I think it's ha it has happened in the past, but it's not happening here. Dude, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that in one of these key rooms, there is like a secret way to go but I ain't seeing it. I think you just gotta get lucky to have it show up on, on your run when you happen to get there. Where are we going? Straight down. Heavy turret, no thank you. Is it still in hand? Serenade is still in hand. Good. Good! I haven't lost you again. Uh-oh. Well, that was scary. Man, Serenade does deal a lot of damage. Oh, there's all the lanterns just underground! By the way, eat it. It's a weird run, because normally I don't run, you know, Serenade, because I'm I'm running Survival, and we just got lucky that we found a colorless version. Or actually, a legendary version. Excuse me. Yo, yeah, let's go! Repeater crossbow. It's another blueprint! Excuse me. One more for the blueprint man himself. Well, we have a choice of bosses to fight. Sorry, was that a teleporter? It was a teleporter. Why did I skip it? We're not done with this floor though. We got a lot to a lot to explore still. There's a shop, a chest, couple of enemies, but I am interested in seeing what that shop has on offer. Hello. How you doing? Executed. I do love it when it says executed. You know what, I think the timing on the enemy teleportation is also off when they get slowed. That's funny. What happened to this guy? He like... He went to the wrong floor. Yes, let's kill them all. Shut up. Okay, give me survival. New weapons. Are we in the market for a new weapon? Kind of, but I think actually what I want is a maybe a different shield. I could always just reroll the stats on the current shield I have, I guess. I well, yeah, I guess we'll just probably reroll it. Maybe make it a little bit better. 
What do you get after unlocking all the blueprints? Uh, I get all the blueprints. <laughs> There's there's no uh, other magic or mystery to it. It's just I get blueprints And I can have all of the items in the game and try them all out And have all the cool stuff You jerk You jerk These guys are all jerks. They're being jerks to me. I gotta go heal and by heal, I mean just get into the light. No. I didn't mean to be here. Oh my god. Well, he didn't die, so I'm happy about that, at least. Give me the freaking sword. Get him. Is that lit? It must be lit, but there's just like a whole bunch of blood in the air. No, that's not lit! Hello? Alright. I guess I just can't have that light. <laughs> this is a weird run of death. I feel like I need to restart the game when I'm done with this one. So many weird- oh, there goes my bow. Or my, uh, my frickin', uh, the, the, not bow, but sword. You know, that one. I, I, I am on, I, <laughs> I feel like maybe I should just get rid of this, uh, this nonsense I have. Get rid of Serenade so it's not messing with me anymore. I don't know, should we go fight the giant? We have no health, we'll need to heal. I feel like we're kind of missing quality gear though because the gear in the caverns is extremely good. The gear in the sepulcher is fine, but not as good. Rapidly shoot bolts and flicking critical hits on rooted targets. Let's see. Rapidly fire bolts inflicting critical hits on, on rooted targets. It fires a volley of bolts rooting enemies and inflicting damage for three seconds. Inflicting 1431 DPS for three seconds. I think I've had this before. I think it was a legendary item. Which, me, me, if you get legendary items, they can be on items that you've not yet locked, unlocked. Um, but what the heck is Quiver of Bolts? It's 6945 DPS and it inflicts DPS over time. Does that DPS over time stack? I don't know, it actually kind of seems okay. You fire a volley of bolts, you root a target, they they take damage over time, and then you just sh shoot them. I, I, I don't know, it kind of works. <laughs> it kind of works, but I'd really like to have a shield for the fight. Especially considering that, um, because we're going to be doing this boss fight, we're not really going to be rooting targets all that much. I think we're better off just uh, saying no to the crossbow. I wish I could hold on to it, but I think this is okay. Shield still has zero charges on it. Because the, um, the boss, he's not going to be rooted for long. He's a boss. Is there no secret unlock? I don't think there's an unlock for getting all the blueprints, but I could be wrong. Okay, we want you to be in hand first. This is actually a very good fight for Serenade, honestly. In particular when, um... I didn't mean to stop moving when that shot came in, but here I am. Uh, in particular, just to be able to stack up. Those charges and then I can get in there and do like, boss executed. 
Like, it's quite good. Use the grenade. Ah. That's fine. Okay. Just keep hitting. <laughs> I stopped hitting for a minute there. Okay. Get the parry in. Oh, I hate having the freaking crystals drop on your head when you're doing this. Fifty nine thousand damage? On a serenade hit? That's incredible. You really do like 10 times the stated damage on a crit? It's phenomenal. Spike shield. Ooh, that's like very good. <laughs> yeah, that's like extremely good. I think we'll replace our bug shield with that one. We'll keep stocking up health too. Off to the castle. GG. Yeah, it could have been better. I could have been better at it. I really like that shield. Okay, dump our cells. Oh my god, it's only 20%, huh? Man, that takes a long time to upgrade. Um, and then as for this, I mean, I'm tempted to upgrade the shield. Well, we might get a better shield on the, on the level, so let's not worry about it. Ah, uh, what's the chance of that happening? Dump it. We're going to the distillery. I could use a drink. Oh, I could use a drink. All right, let's do this. Oh, God. <laughs> well, at least um, by getting rid of the shield, we have fixed the bug with Serenade, where the shield had zero charges and it was being used first when Serenade came back into hand. So at least that's been fixed. Careful, careful, Oops, excuse me, careful. That uh, was a wasted grenade. I gotta like pay more attention. So Serenade does... <sighs> it's hard to pay attention. 3,000 damage on that hit, and then 42,000 damage on that hit? It just doesn't feel right. It feels like it's too much. Excuse me. Oh, come in the hand. Oh, there's the barrel launcher. Uh, I guess we're gonna need it, so. Excuse me. It's a dangerous weapon, though. Okay. So you hit for 2,000. I hit for... I hit for 13,000 that time? I guess the sword autonomously hits for higher crits. Yeah, that was like 60,000 damage. Which definitely feels too much. But I'd rather have it do too much damage than too little, so I guess I'm okay. Well, I didn't mean to get stuck there. Okay, we gotta we gotta, we gotta recharge Serenade here. So it hit him once. Now we'll hit him. Fifteen thousand. The number it doesn't last for that long on screen, does it? How much damage do you do? 
63,000. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. I guess it is, um, you know, the... That's why. I guess it is a, a sword that does require you to, um, you know, constantly be swapping it on and off to get the most value from it, so I guess it does make a little bit of sense. 65,000 might be when it crit some, uh, executes something. I don't think so. I think that's just its damage. Because I, I think when it gets the killing blow, it doesn't even say executed. Hello. See you later, man. I think when it says executed, it actually doesn't even have a um, a damage dealt tally on it. I do kind of like this though, just chucking in grenades or well, explosive barrels while uh, Serenade is getting the the job done elsewhere. All right, let's do this. What the heck? Thank God for disengagement. That would have straight up killed me. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, give me the extra jump, please. I, I did not expect him to uh, come after me because uh, it was being shielded. But I guess elites will jump after you if they jump, like if they have movement abilities. Lesson freaking learned. Now I just need some, uh, like, recovery health to make up for that. Oh! Oh! The giant wheel of cheese, thank you. Yoink! Yoink! Come on, kill! We're trying, we're trying. What was that sound? I don't like that sound. The sound of explosions happening all around me. This is not the one Oh god, that has the uh, doors that you close to stop these things from bouncing around, is it? It's just the one that has these things bouncing around. Give me tactics. Health is looking pretty good. Okay, give, you get me out of here. We'll go get this chest. Health is okay. It's good enough anyways. Balance blade. Nope. Yeah, we still have a lot to explore, don't we? A lot to explore in a level that has like very... Actually, it has literally zero doors. Oh my god, that's why this level always feels so big and empty. Because the castle... Yes, it normally has... Um... Oh, thank you. Yes, the castle normally has... Um you know, a relatively well-defined uh, uh, area for the level to exist in, but it also has all those doors. You fight all the elites, and that's why it feels larger. I freaking get it. That was just a shortcut. Because there's no doors here, the level just feels large and empty, but... Really, it's probably the same size as the, um... As the standard castle. It might be a little bit... Might be 
maybe a little bit smaller. But I imagine the number of enemies that you face is also roughly similar. Excuse me. <laughs> Coming through. Uh, let's go over here. Just searching to find our way home. That's good poison damage, too. My god, it just one-shots him. It's so good! Excuse me? He, he, not, he destroyed my bomb? He was gonna hit me with my own bomb? I, I disapprove? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be exploded. Oh, he's dead. Uh, hi. You know what? I got one of those. Oh, come on! No, 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 no. Uh, it's mine. Got it. No, I should have hit him first and then gotten the crit back. Ah! Well, we didn't get that much health back, unfortunately. That was, a, that was an awkward situation, though. I really did not expect him to hit me. Their blast radius is just so freaking big, man. Also, this is not the exit. I'm realizing. 16,000 DPS, huh? When Serenade crits, it is better. Alpha Grenade is good too. I feel like we want Death Orb. No, I think we want, I think, we, I think we're okay with Grenade actually. Even against the, the, king, the Hand of the King, I'm thinking to be able to use this every 13 seconds might be better than using that every uh, 20 seconds, but I don't know. Excuse me. Yeah, I was like, uh, Serenade, please? This this one's all you? I guess we'll go up this way too, just to look to see what we got. Thank you. That was pretty good. Didn't think that would happen. I don't even know how these guys are dying. Like, by the time I get to them, they're just freaking dead. I'm starting to learn how to, how to handle the serenade, though. Like, the most effective use of it. Oh my god! What the heck? Why was there a barrel there? Well, I gotta heal. Like, there's not even barrels making it down that that hole. Where did they come from? Oh my god, this freaking... You freaking so-and-sos. Why am I even going up here? I have the key. I don't think we need to be up here at all. Another repeater crossbow. We could take it now, but I, I don't think the boss is going to be um, rooted for that long. Architraz says, I still hate this zone. Yeah. It's the, it's the like bouncing traps that hit you from off screen. Like kind of what happened there where I just went up to the next platform level and oh hey, I guess I'm just going to get hit by this barrel I didn't see. Lots of that nonsense. Yo. Thank you. Excuse me? I remember this. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get in here while there's no barrel. Oh god, it's coming. 
Now how the hell do I get out of this stupid place? Oh lord, okay, where are we going? <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Are we almost done? There's only, uh, like 10 enemies remaining, so we're almost done. Of course it has to be one of these. Missed it. I'd really like. There we go. Just kill you with one of those. Get out. Leave. I'll leave after I kill you. All right, we made it through. Took a few hits, but that's okay. We still have one healing flask remaining for the next floor. And we're gonna be fighting the boss, the Hand of the King. Now I don't even know if I really want the barrel launcher anymore. The problem I find with it is that if the king, just leave it. If the king hits the barrel back at you, you just hurt yourself, which is kind of dangerous. So I'd rather not accidentally blow myself up with my own barrel just because I fired it directly at the hand of the king who parried it back at me. I'd prefer not to kill myself. But also the flint has been pretty good for us so far. Reforge modifiers. Like, there's nothing even to reforge unless I make like a bleed or poison synergy, but I don't know, could try it. Yeah, there you go. More crits and plus damage to a poison target. We did it in one roll. Perfect. You might want to go with more mutations or different mutations. Like what about recovery? What doesn't kill me? Disengagement? We probably don't even need disengagement, but... In fact, we should have probably taken the upgrade that gave us like 50% more health. Actually, would <laughs> lots of actuallys here. Would taking dead inside affect the healing when you parry? That could be interesting. I forgot his first attack is always super slow. Surprised that that didn't work. That was extremely good damage. I think we got hit. So I don't think we're in like perfect scenario. But that was like extremely good. Now, yeah, we definitely got hit multiple times. So the damage of Serenade is just, it, it crushes. That was insanely easy. Quick, get in here before you take all the cells. Oh wait, you gotta throw your head, I forgot. Well, give me the other cells, I guess. Wait, I don't have all the cells, hold on. <laughs> you might as well. Okay. Well, it was still, it was a winning run, it was a pretty good run, uh, except I forgot the freaking Hunter's Grenade, but we still got a couple of blueprints out of it, which was nice. You know, any anytime we can get more blueprints, I'm happy, because I want to get all the blueprints for my own personal benefit, for knowing what all the items are and what, you know, all the different, Things do. Yoink. Yeah, what a what a costume. I am a purple scarecrow man. 
That is hideous? Also, my head is purple, too. Eh, except here it's green still, so I don't know. Anyways, good run. Uh, we completed all that we wanted to complete. We got some blueprints. We we got a winning run. We continue continue to unlock outfits and upgrade our forge, which needs to still happen. And uh, maybe at some point we will jump up to BC5. Maybe we'll even do it sometime soon, soon-ish, because the BC4 runs, most of the time I just die in in stupid ways. I don't die to being ground down over the course of an entire run. But if we do kick it up to BC5, we will have to be dealing with malaise and whatnot, which will add a whole nother uh, brand of <laughs> B B S C to the run. <laughs> um, but for now, hey, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dead Cells.